and I hope that succeeds. Uh, you know, Mark, a lot, a lot of times we're, we're dealing with uh, uh, doctrinal issues on this program, on, on what the Bible says in the Word of the Lord, and, and uh, we uh, get a lot, of, a lot of flat because people are saying, well, you know, just y'all always just hounding people on what they teach, whatever. But one thing we're trying to do, too, is we try to do social issues. You know, we try to talk about things that are, that are affecting our society, affecting our, our community, because that's really what the Bible is saying. Right. And so that's tonight's what we're going to be doing tonight. But uh, before we get started, let's get some uh, content information up here. We're going to be uh, uh, opening the phone lines up uh, later on. We'll be doing two hours together. So uh, the Church of Christ meets at 250 the Boulevard in Eden, North Carolina. Uh, we uh, meet on uh, Thursday nights at 7 p.m. for our Bible study and uh, Sundays at uh, 9 a.m. for Bible class and uh, 10 a.m. for worship. And if you're in the area, we sure would like to see you. You can reach me at awardmylord at gmail.com. Uh, Mark is preaching in Danville. Mark, you give your... We meet at 120 American Legion Boulevard. That's one block behind the old Dutch off North Main Street. Sunday mornings at uh, 10 o'clock for Bible study and 11 o'clock worship. Tuesday evenings at 7 o'clock for Bible study. Be glad to have you come out and visit with us. Ask questions. Don't leave your pocketbook at home. Just bring your Bible is all we ask. Right. And then, of course, in Martinsville, 823 Starling Avenue, uh, they're in Martinsville, and you can uh, assemble with those uh, brethren there and study God's Word with them. Uh, Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., Sunday mornings at 9, 10, and 11 a.m. Uh, they have three services on Sunday morning, so a uh, uh, good chance to op the opportunity to uh, uh, study God's Word. And speaking of what does the Bible say, we want to promo this too. Uh, tonight, we're kind of competing against ourselves here tonight, but... Uh, Tonight on uh, Channel 18, if you're in Henry County, uh, there's a special uh, What Does the Bible Say program going on. Uh, they're killing Calvin, I think is what they're... That's right, what they're, Calvinism. What they're, they're, they're killing Calvin, killing Calvin. Calvinism. And so, uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, we're not really committing murder. We're just uh, killing the doctrine of Calvinism. And uh, uh, I, I think Johnny and, and Micah and Caleb and Drew right. are... They'll be going... They went to last night, tonight, uh, Friday night, and Saturday night... Uh, two hours every night. Is that nine to a, eight to ten? Eight to ten every night. Now eight last ten. night it was nine to yeah to eleven. Right. Eight to ten every night. So uh, uh, we're competing with them right now. But uh, you know, friend, just goes to show that we're we're intent on getting the word out, getting our message out, which is what the Bible uh, teaches. And so we hope that uh, everyone is uh, understanding that this is because we're fervent. You know, a lot of times people are behind the walls, Mark. Right. You know, you can't. Uh, Don't want you to ask questions. Right. They just, you just listen to what I teach and just believe it and don't ask any questions yeah. about it. But, accept it, accept yeah. it, you know. And then they want to call us a cult, but they're being more uh, right. uh, more, more like a cult, you know. And take it is my, take amazing. I watched the program last night with um, Caleb and Micah, and, you know, they were pointing out the doctrine of Calvinism, and it's a horrific doctrine if you think about it. You know, born in sin, right. ch telling ch little children <laughs> yep. that they're born in sin, that's what I grew up with, and it, it almost just turned me completely away from Christianity altogether, you know, because I'm, I'm born in sin. God created me with a sinful nature, and now he's telling me that I need to repent for something that I had no, you know, no control of, and that's what Calvinism teaches. And yet they were pointing out, you know, teachers like Brian Edwards, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jerry Falwell, Charles Stanley, all these preachers are teaching this, and yet none of them will call in and deny it. Yeah. So that tells me they know they're... Yeah, it must, it's an accurate representation of what they're saying. Exactly anyway. right. So, well, tonight, you know, as I said, we're going to be dealing with some social issues. And, you know, Mark, for the past couple of weeks, this has been kind of a hot topic, and uh, it's been on the, in the news and, you know, big rally down here at the courthouse in Wentworth uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, think about the, 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 the homosexual marriage, and, and a lot of uh, focus has been getting on that. You know, right. we've got politicians coming in and weighing in, and had a magistrate that uh, that resigned, you know, because he uh, didn't agree with it. Right. And uh, <clears throat> I'll just say that Mark and I actually went and went talked to Mr. Callum today, and so we have some <clears throat> some uh, uh, some of his quotes that the things that he said. But the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about this on on a word from the Lord, and I've actually been showing you know kind of the hypocrisy on the side of those people who are far. Uh, homosexual marriages, mm -hmm. and and pointing out that you know one of the things that they they're, they say about us is that we're intolerant, right? You know because we, we oppose something, therefore we're intolerant. But yeah, they are more intolerant than anyone. Mm -hmm. You know they don't tolerate us. Uh, 
have, having our freedom of speech or freedom to express what we believe. Uh, we're called uh, offensive, you know, judgmental, discriminatory, and, and so forth. And uh, what we did, we pointed out all the hypocrisy that those individuals who are for that are really demonstrating the very things that they say we are. Mm -hmm. But one thing that uh, I, we, we haven't really brought up, and this is where we're, what you and I are going to be discussing tonight, is the real issue with, with this issue. Mm -hmm. This is not the real issue. This is like a, uh, what would you say, a, 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 a symptom or the call mm -hmm. or the, the uh, uh, what the, the end, if you will, the, uh, the end of the problem. You know, this is what the problem brings. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really what we're, what we're dealing with. And so what we're going to be discussing is... What brought on the problem. Yeah. yeah. Why, why are we even having this debate to start with? Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be having this, this problem. We wouldn't be having this discussion. We wouldn't be having these rallies. We wouldn't be having all this, you know, uh, 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 hatred and variance and debate and whatever that everybody says, you know, is bad. If, if this one thing had been done, we're not going to say exactly what that one thing is mm -hmm. right, right now, but if we could just... Uh, 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 if we could just uh, nip this in the bud, this is why we would we could do away with this. Now, Mark, what we're going to be doing tonight, I'm, I'm going to let you uh, uh, talk about some of these things because some of them are, are what you brought to the table to discuss. And uh, but the reason why we're having this 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 problem, friends, the reason why we're we're dis discussing homosexual marriage or any kind of social issues, really, is this reason right here. And that is religious people have not really defended marriage. That's Reli right. Religious people have not really uh, put their foot down and insisted that God's word be followed. Now, Mark, to demonstrate this, to demonstrate this, I'm going to start off with a quote. I'm going to start off with a quote. And that is this. Only one out of every seven adults, or one out of seven adults, that's 15%, that were that were polled in this Barna uh, research poll, only one out of seven, fifteen percent of adults, strongly agreed with this statement. When a when a couple gets divorced without one of them having committed adultery, they are committing sin. Now only fifteen percent strongly agreed with that. Mm -hmm. That means eighty five percent of the people. Some of them may have agreed with it slightly, but eighty five percent of the people did not have some strong enough conviction to say. Yes, that's sin. Mm -hmm. Eighty-five percent of the people disagree with God's word. That's right on the issue. Yeah. yeah. What? So what? What is you know when we're looking at it, you know what does the Bible say? That's your that's your line. What does well, the Bible say on that? <laughs> Matthew nineteen nine, uh, the Pharisees are questioning Christ about the Moses, the old law, how Moses gave a writing of divorcement, and the Pharisees also came into him in, in verse three and, and tempting him, saying unto him. Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Step that way just a little bit. And he uh, he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, not to his husband, and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore there are no more twain but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. But they say unto him, Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement and to put her away? He says unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, suffered you to put away your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. And so in verse 9 it says, And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and, and, uh, marry, and shall marry another, committeth adultery, and whosoever marrieth her which is put away, doeth commit adultery. So that is the only exception that Christ gave for a husband and wife to divorce. Right. So, so really, you know, so it gets down to the bottom. The bottom line is what we're discussing here. The issue is really not about homosexual marriage. The issue is not about, uh, you know, civil rights. It's really not about discrimination, <laughs> or it's not about right. uh, whatever. And you know, you mentioned civil, civil rights. That, that always. Just got me. I, I can't understand how anybody 